Well, hello, Apex Comics here. A nice video. <clears throat> this is the final product of the Fembat Crate Preview Ash Can. See here with a nice Vic King art <clears throat> on the back, showing Pyre. It's another character created by um, Paul Hansen and myself, uh, Brett Cantrell, and we got Fembat. Blue Cat and Madame Max. Really cool. <clears throat> I'm going to staple the last portion of this. Including is the uh, centerfold. Original. Well. An established sketch. The very first appearance of the creep. In a sketch that I made. Gosh. Back in what? 2017 I think. That far back. But these are the other characters from the 80's I created. Well the human lodger I created when I was about. I don't know, eight years old. <laughs> he just jumps around and lands and crushes buildings. Cloverleaf, around the early, late 70s, early 80s, is an Irish detective with superhuman strength. Paramore, he's like a gymnast. Uh, you got Freeze Out, the criminal. Uh, Brass and Fire, another a villain. And you got the Leopard, multi fighter, shameless ripoff of. Doc Ock, Dr. Octopus. And of course, this latest character is fairly new. Created in 2017. I'm thinking, well, what color am I going to color this guy? I was going to color him yellow. I went, screw it, I was color him pink. He'll be the creep, because he looks creepy. He's like a skeletal looking monster. He's like a hundred feet tall. And I approached this to uh, my live streams last year. And Courtney from uh, Courtney Oddballs, Odd Fellowship of Oddballs, uh, we're on a live stream. I'll, I'll show her this piece. I'm thinking, what character stands out more to you? He goes, she goes, uh, who's the who's the pink guy? <laughs> I'm thinking the creep. I'm like, okay, that's the winner. So I'm gonna develop this character, the creep, which I did. I produced. Uh, I'm up to page ten on the creep right now, as of this recording. This is going to be a 28 pager. It's going to come after right after Fembat. It's going to be a floppy. It's going to be priced a uh, fairly good price, I think, affordable. Plus, may add a little something to it to freshen it up, you know, since it is a crowdfunder. Got to satisfy the people who fund the books, right? So, this is the inside pages, first six pages of the creep. You got a Rob Ewing pencil. I inked over it. Pretty nice. Yeah, I don't want to reveal too much. This is what's inside the film. Six pages of film back. But then you got the executor in the back. Oh, you also got uh, the color of uh, Enforcer Inc. My uh, Avengers like super team. This is the giant, and that's the red blooded American. Uh, this costume's a bit different from that. Fighting some robots. Then you got some creep here. I don't want to reveal too much, but yeah, this pretty cool anyway please like subscribe ring bell for notifications i've got i'm gonna staple this bad boy this is a five and a half by eight and a half ash can so you level up to where five and a half inches is right where this red is the margin we're gonna staple oh, two staples on this make sure these are all flushed right they're all lined up correctly. I'm going to write right here. First staple. Punch like that. Move downward a little bit more. To where the creep's hand is. Staple that. There you have it. Beautiful stapled book. There. Bond it together. I put, as part of this, I mailed some of these off to a family. Here's an example. A little gift card on the back. I, uh... Put a nice cut of, cut of backboard for this. I think I folded in the plastic so I could fit in this this mailer. Uh, well, one of these mailers right here, right? A little bit cheaper. That way, it's less expensive to ship. But uh, these will be coming out. I've got to straighten out my bank with my PayPal. I'm having problems with it, but these will be on sale around mid January. Hopefully, by then I'll get my bank situation and my paypal coordinated better <clears throat> so they can so i can be a verified 
vendor, according to what PayPal tells me, they've had this bank account for close to a year, so I should be a vendor. I don't know why they're having problems with it, but I got to straighten it out with them as of this recording. So let's do an unboxing. I want to do an unboxing just for you guys. Super kind of classic comics that I may have picked up about a month or so back, a few weeks back. I don't remember, but anyway. Uh, ooh, look at that. Nice mailer. Uh, cool beans, buddy. Ooh. Uh, don't reveal my address. Oh my god. Don't reveal. Don't dox myself. Oh, oh terrible. Don't you dare dox yourself, sir. I'll try not to. Uh, I must keep my identity secret. Uh, I must. Is that how Peter Parker has to go through? Just can't dox yourself in a comic book. Can't reveal your family who you really are. Well, especially outsiders. You, you don't know who, who to trust now. Ah, oh, oh, so paranoid. What am I going to do with myself? Oh, Lord. Hey, you got, got a nice homage. Classic Marvel. Oh, man, that's somewhat of a... I didn't pay very much for this, thank goodness. Uh, what was it, like four bucks, I think? It was an auction. So, yeah, man. I wouldn't fall apart when I take it out. No. Nope. 20 cents. Wow, this is like, what, 1973? 72? What is it? What year was this? This was 1973. November 1973 issue. This is... Man, this is 50 years old, man. Holocaust. You got Dormammu and Loki. Wow. Is this... It's Bob Brown. Bob Brown, who was a part-time artist for Doom Patrol back in the 60s, along with Bruno Premiani. Bob Brown, he also drew Daredevil at the same time, around 73, early 70s, after Gene Colan. I think Gene Colan left and drew Tomb of Dracula. He was busy on that. Swordsman versus Valkyrie, Chapter 7. Whoa, what kind of battle are they ensuing on? Oh, old ass ads. Very fun ads. Well, I think he had Sal Buscema drawing this thing. No. Who, who the f who? Oh, no, it's Bob Brown. He's similar in my Capsita Links. Okay, look, that looks a little bit like a Buscema type style, especially that. Look at the face. <laughs> Very Buscema-ish. Sal Buscema-like. I think he probably... They all kind of went to the same studio, the way they... Captain America vs. Submariner. Oh, who's got a fat Namor? This is before Namor turned Mexican and, uh, uh what, Woke Kanda forever? Yeah. I think that's what, huh? He's, he's the original Namor from the comics. I prefer him. I think people think he looks Asian, right? No, man. He's uh, half Atlantean, half Scottish. His last name's McKenzie, all right? Come on, do your research, guys. You got Sunfire right there. Well, that's pretty wild. You got Fire vs. Water. Wow, look at that. Pretty cool action packed book, Avengers. Thanks. Very cool. Yeah, man. If you would, like, subscribe, ring bell for notifications. It's all fun and games until you get your eye poked out at Christmas. No, I'm kidding. Why'd I say that? <laughs> Please be safe out there. Don't uh, be poking your eyes on nonsense. All right, keep your keep yourself in one piece. God bless America. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, everyone have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas holiday. Rex Hex and Apex Christmas special on Devil Flyer Rex channel. Devil Flyer Momentum. Catch it this Saturday, twenty third of December, as of this recording. Till next time, ciao for now.